everyone, today we got to the Apple MacBook Pro 6 inch with M3 Pro processor, 12 cores, 18 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. We'll also throw in some laughs as we compare it to the 11 core M3 Pro model and Apple's latest brainchild, the M4, which is currently only available in the iPad Pro, but is already showing incredible performance. We'll find out if the beast is worth your money or if you should just stick with your trusty old potato laptop. So let's dive in and have some fun. Apple always been that overachieving kid in the class, not only smart, but also the best dressed. The MacBook Pro 16 inch continues that trend. Looking like a super model in the aluminum suit, you hold it and you feel like you've just borrowed something from the future. Weighing around 2.5 kilograms, it's like carrying a small dog that can bark but can sure crunch numbers. It's not the lightest, but hey, you're carrying a 16 inch screen and a ton of power. It's still portable enough to slip into your backpack without needing a chiropractor. Let's talk about the 16 inch display, which is a basically eye candy. With a resolution of 3456 by 2234 pixels and liquid retina XDR, it's like having a mini IMAX in your lap. Deep blacks, bright whites and colors that pop like they trying to escape from the screen. The 120 hertz refresh rate, thanks to promotion technology, it's so smooth, you'll think your eyes have been upgraded. And the sound, it's like a having a concert in your living room. The six speakers, holy crap, not one, not two, not three, six speakers, System with a spectral audio makes everything sound better, from your grandma Zoom calls to your guilty pleasure of blasting 80s rock. Watching movies, listening to music, or just hearing the soothing voice of Siri, it's all a treat. Now let's get to the juicy part. Performance. The MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M3 Pro is the beast. Comparing the 11 core and 12 core versions of this chip to the new M4 is like comparing a Ferrari to a Lamborghini. Both are ridiculously fast, but let's break it down. The M3 Pro processor is like a hawk. After he had his morning coffee, it's got a 12 course compared to the 11 core version, which is a basically the same hawk, but before the coffee. The 12 core version gives you a performance boost of about 15 to 20%. So if you are rendering videos, working with a 3D graphics, or just opening a million gazillion chrome tabs, this thing will handle it like a champ. The Geekbench 6 tests it score around 15,000 points in multi-core mode. The 11 core about 13,000 points. So it's still a beast, just a slightly smaller one. If every bit of performance matter to you, the 12 core M3 Pro is your go-to. If you are looking for a good balance between power and price, the 11 core version is like a finding $20 in your old jeans. It's still a win. Let's talk about M4. The M4 is the new kid on the block, currently only available in the iPad Pro, but I'm sure it will soon be featured in Apple's new line of laptops. There is no exact release date yet, as we all know, Apple does not like to share specific dates, but most likely it will be this fall. For now, let's discuss its version for the iPad, where it's already showing amazing results. It's got about a 20 to 25% performance boost over the M3 Pro, making it the king of the hill. Should you go for the M4? Well, let's look at the performance in the laptop release version, but I think if you need the extra power or ready to splurge, go for it. If not, the 12 core M3 Pro is already more than enough for most of the tasks. 
So now let's talk about keeping this beast cool. The MacBook Pro 16 inch has an advanced cooling system that quieter than a ninja sneaking in through the library. With the two large fans and improved heat sinks, it stays cool even under heavy loads. So whatever you are rendering a video or playing a game, it won't turn into the hot plate. You can keep it on your lap without needing a nice pack. Battery life is where Apple really shines. The MacBook Pro 16 inch can run for 14 to 16 hours on a single charge. That's like two whole seasons of your favorite Netflix show. So no worries about running out of juice during the work days or your binge watching season. Apple has finally listen to our cries and giving us a decent number of ports. We've got three Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI, an SD card slot, and MagSafe charging port. And surprise, surprise, there's still 3.5 mil headphone jack. Yes, Apple decided to keep it around instead of selling you another dongle. But if you're missing those old USB-A ports, you might need some extra adapters. It's small price to pay for a living in the future, right? In the US, the base model starts at $2,500 that includes the 12 core M3 Pro, 18 gig of RAM, and 512 gigs of storage. Want to upgrade? More RAM or storage will cost you arm and leg. Adding 32 gig of RAM is another $400. And the upgrading to one terabyte of SSD is about $200 more. So you can end up spending over three grand for the mixed out version. But if you're planning to do some serious works, it's worth it. When it comes to upgrades and repairs, the MacBook Pro 16 inch is like a high maintenance friend. The RAM and SSD are soldiered onto the motherboard, so no DIY upgrades here. You'll need to go to the service center for any changes. The battery and some other components can be replaced, but it's better to choose a configuration that will meet your long-term needs from the start. The biggest problem in the MacBooks that I saw from my personal experience is the screen. They, it cracks all the time. So before it used to be super easy. So you crack the screen, you order the replacement, you reinstall it there yourself. If your hands are growing from your proper parts of your body, or you take it to the service where they are gonna charge you pretty much double of the cost. So now the Apple made it super complicated. And the reason why is that the new screen, the replacement screen, is not calibrated properly with the motherboard. So they actually, the display will be incorrect with some, with a bunch of shadows, which are gonna piss you off because you have a, like your $3,000 computer with a, with a shitty screen. So there are actually two options that currently being offered. Either you need to pull the chip from your old screen, which is a really complicated procedure and you have to take the screen apart and solder it to the new screen. Or after the installation, you have to take the laptop to the Apple store where they will try to calibrate it and they're gonna charge you for it, obviously. So pretty much you will have a golden screen here. And in conclusion, the Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch with M3 Pro processor is not just a laptop, it's a powerhouse. It turns any task into a pleasure. Sure, it's pricey and if it breaks, it's gonna be hell, but you get a stylish and powerful device that can handle anything from the video editing to complex computations. If you want a laptop that not only gets the job done, but does it with a flair, the MacBook Pro 16 is your choice. And as usual, even though we're already aware that to upgrade or replace anything on this beast is a hell, let's still take it apart to see what's going on inside. Stay tuned, subscribe, let's go! All right, everybody. As usual, we're gonna be starting from the bottom side of this laptop. First thing first, make sure that laptop is completely disconnected from any power source and it's completely shut down. And now I'm gonna be using my vacuum pump to carefully remove the bottom case. So once you pull all the screws out, locate 
the fine imprint with your serial number is going to be your guide and right by that area use your vacuum pump to carefully lift the bottom case on one side and once you're going to lift it actually don't try to rip it off it will slide out towards the fine imprint so be very careful otherwise you're going to be damaging the internal clips and then you would have to buy a replacement so once the bottom case is removed we can see the whole picture of this beauty here so the the only good thing i was able to locate that all external ports are actually connected to the motherboard and they are replaceable so if in case anyone break it's fairly easy replacement and you don't have to replace the actual logic board as we previously mentioned that ssd ram everything is soldered to the motherboard so you pretty much stuck with that uh, you do have an option to replace the battery it's pretty complicated procedure as well because the battery it's really glued to the palm rest so you have to be super careful because if you're gonna poke the battery it can get into the flames and cause potential damages to yourself or to your property so if you're not professional don't try to replace the battery other than that everything is pretty straightforward thank you very much for watching love and peace to everybody